Hello everyone and welcome to yet another biannual uh, bookshelf tour. Uh, I want to welcome all the new people to my channel. I want to thank all the old ones for their continued support throughout the years. Um, this bookshelf tour will be very similar to the other ones I've made. Uh, nothing new and exciting, I don't think, except for the books uh, on the shelf. Uh, but it should be fun. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, let's go! So here we have the bookshelf. You can probably tell that I've changed the location of the bookshelf. It doesn't get the direct sunlight anymore and I just like the overall feel of where it's at right now. But let's take a closer look at all of the books that I have on my shelf. And as usual let's start our way up top and work our way down. Uh, first off we have Mary Shelley's The Last Man. We have the two Bronte sisters, uh, Charlotte Bronte and Emily Bronte's uh, Jane Eyre and Withering Heights. Fyodor Dostoevsky's uh, Crime and Punishment. John Aubrey, Brief Lives, The Tale of Genji, and The Snow Leopard by Peter Matheson. And these are all full society books, uh, same with uh, pretty much uh, all of these uh, first few shelves. But let's continue, here we have some fairy tales, and you can see that my organization of the books are not uh, that great, they are quite random. Just mainly want them to look good on the shelf, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but we have the East of the Sun, West of the Moon, and these are all illustrated by Golden Age illustrators, uh, The Fables Face Up, Hans Andersen's uh, Fairy Tales, The Arabian Nights, The Victorians by Anne Wilson, and also St. Augustine's City of God, Marvelous Edition, and Hassan, a play from I think early 20th century. And then we come to my limited editions. This is my signed full society edition uh, of uh, Alice in Wonderland. It's signed by uh, Charles van Sandwick and illustrated by him as well. Uh, this is my very rare. A Lovecraft book, The Color Out of Space, uh, bound by Amy Boresso. Uh, this is Anthony Trollope's The Duke's Children, also from the Full Society. And then we have some standard editions or fine editions from the Full Society with the book uh, of Common Prayer, John Milton's Paradise Lost, with a uh, commentary, a huge edition, as you can probably can tell. And also The Rebait of Umar Khayyam, and another big book, uh, The Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. And then we can move on directly to the right, and here we have some art books. Uh, this is all from Tashin, and this is a huge book, an Excel edition of Caravaggio's The Complete Works. And the size of these books are very nice for uh, viewing the paintings, but they can take up a bit of space and very hard to store on the shelf. So uh, I decided to put them outside from the <laughs> shelf and lay them on, uh, on here. And then we have Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, Hieronymus Bosch and also the extra edition of Michelangelo Complete Works. All from Taschen as I said, all marvelous editions got them in the Taschen sale, very worth it. Uh, great art books. Let's go down a bit further, we have some more art. This is a Botticelli, uh, the Italian Renaissance man. Uh, this is a Prestel edition, very big also. And then we have Hiroshige from Taschen. Dali's illustrations in Alice in Wonderland, Nodiska. Uh, Gudar uh, and <laughs> Nodiska Versen. The names upon the harp, uh, which is uh, a collection of Irish myths and legends also illustrated. And then we have my Tolkien Deluxe, Deluxe Editions, uh, The Lord of the Rings, The Silmarillion, The Hobbit and Unfinished Tales. And then continues the long streak of Holy Society books. We have Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce, uh, The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner, Sigmund Freud, uh, Big Chief Elizabeth, A Life in Letters and Diaries by George Orwell, The Pillar Book of Sage Senegon, the Outsider by Camus, uh, Dubliners by Joyce, and with Napoleon in Russia 1812. And then it continues further with the Greek uh, myths, The Classical World, Lives of Late Caesars, The Rise of Rome by Polybius, Plutarch of Lives, Volume 1 to 4, The Life of Alexander the Great, Twelve Caesars, The Voyage of Argo, and then we get some poetry randomly inserted here <laughs> by Christina Rossetti, uh, Voltaire's Candide, Marcus Aurelius, uh, Meditations, Plato's Symposium, The Bhagavad Gita, uh, Confucius with uh, the Analects and two Tolkien art books and also some art by William Blake uh, from Taschen. And the sudden break of Full Society books begins here with some philosophical works. Uh, we get uh, the complete works by Plato, uh, I Ching, uh, we have the Way of the Buddha, the Dhammapada, and then we have some Buddhist uh, works, uh, Theravada Buddhism, uh, Majjhima Nikaya and Dikka Nikaya. Uh, we have the Tao De Jing, the Inner Chapters by Changsa. Uh, also Taoist work, The Essential Rumi, the great Sif, uh, Sufi mystic, and then we have some Joseph Campbell, the hero with a thousand faces, and goddesses also by Joseph Campbell. And then we have more for the site books, The Constellation of Philosophy, The uh, Dynasties of China, G uh, Julian of Norwich, uh, Revelations of 
Divine Love. Fear and Trembling by Kierkegaard, Dante's Vita Nuova, uh, Animal Farm by Orwell, Hermann Hesse, uh, Steppenwolf, William Faulkner's SLA Dying, Uncle Silas by Sheridan Le Fanu, and three uh, Franz Kafka novels, America, Metamorphosis and the Castle. And also up here, Hiding, a bit in the darkness, we have The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde from Amaranthine uh, Press, very nice book. Now this is probably the part of the bookshelves uh, that has the most new books that uh, most of you haven't seen yet. Uh, this is my religion and philosophy section. We start off with a Gnostic Gospel, uh, Piste Sophia, uh, the Gnostic Bible, uh, the uh, Gnosticism, an introductory volume, uh, the Gospel of Mary of Magdala, the complete works by uh, Pseudo Dionysius, uh, the Kabbalion, a hermetic uh, book from uh, the 20th century, uh, the essential writings of uh, Christian mysticism, early Irish myths and sagas, uh, Eckhart selected writings, the, the Cloud of Unknowing and other works, Fragments by Heraclitus, uh, we get some uh, St. Augustine confessions, and also another copy of Revelations of Divine Love by Julia of Norwich. And this is an Oxford World Classics edition, uh, The Heart of the Buddha's Teachings, uh, Awakening the Buddha Within, The Story of Philosophy by Will Durant, and then we have some obscure pieces of Theology, Clement of Alexandria, and also Philostratus, Polonius of uh, Tyana, Letters, Testimonia, Eusebius Reply. And this is uh, the third edition, I got the wrong one, uh, but I'm planning to get uh, volume one and two as well. And this is the Study Bible, the English Standard Version of the Old and the New Testament. And this is the Septuagint, uh, the first translation of the Old Testament in Greek. And then we have uh, the Greek New Testament, this is in Koine Greek, and it is only in uh, Greek, while this is uh, both in English and in uh, Greek. And then we have an introductory volume on reading New Testament in Greek. We have some Emmanuel Swedenborg literature here, uh, and him is glad on the Near Jerusalem. And I'm a member of the Scandinavian Society of Emmanuel Swedenborg, so I got these ones uh, from them. This is a collection of Swedenborg essays. And then we have some Tushan uh, books. This is the Book of Bibles, uh, Alchemy and uh, Mysticism, and also uh, Dali, Salvador Dali. And I might as well show these Penguin Classics editions that should be here, but I uh, haven't really figured out how to make them fit. <laughs> uh, we have uh, William, Mor uh, William Morris, The News from Nowhere, and other writings. Arthur Macken, uh, The White People and Other Weird Stories. Clark Aston Smith, and also Lord Dunsany, The Land of Time and Other Fantasy Tales. And now we are on the bottom row of my shelf. We have the Edda. The, this is the Poetic and Prose Edda, this is the Poetic Edda in Swedish, uh, this is some Icelandic myth sagas, a uh, lucid dreaming book, uh, a lucid dreaming book, a lucid dreaming book, a biography about Elon Musk, uh, Kennedy also biography. And down here we have just some a random collection of books, we have a book about growing sh uh, hot peppers, we get a book on chocolate, the reference standard huge book, amazing content as well if you're into uh, bean to bar chocolate. Uh, Stephen Hawking, a uh, book about phys physics. We have uh, H.P. Lovecraft's Complete Works, The Annotated Alice, How to Read a Book, and thank you, Sham, for introducing this one for to me. <laughs> uh, Tolkien, uh, Father Christmas, uh, The Letters, uh, an edition of The Hobbit, Lovecraft Tales, and also The Complete uh, Conversations with God. And on this last shelf, I have uh, some full society books that I'm not sure what to do with yet. I don't know if I sh uh, I'm gonna sell them, uh, if I'm gonna do a giveaway, uh, or if I'm gonna keep them myself. I have no idea. Uh, I might keep uh, these two at least. Not sure. Then we have uh, this uh, 1001 Nights, Kane Nielsen's uh, watercolor uh, reproductions. This is a limited edition from Tushin. Not really sure where to put it, so I have it here right now. It's a large, very large thing to store. And if you don't have a lot of space, it's, uh, yeah, can be troubling. But inside here is the uh, artworks. And then you also get this book uh, about the art and the stories. And that was all of the books in my core bookshelf. Uh, let's take a look at the extended uh, bookshelf now. Here we have a lovely print from uh, Dan Hillier, signed and numbered. Uh, but let's continue with my Everyman's Library collection. There's quite a lot of books to go through, so I will go through them very fast and not um, talk about every individual title. Uh, but we have uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky, uh, Oscar Wilde, Anton Chekhov, uh, John Steinbeck, D. H. Lawrence, uh, Mikhail Bulgakov, uh, James Joyce, Albert Camus, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway, Aldous Huxley, 
uh, Margaret Atwood, George Orwell, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and down here, uh, Elizabeth Allen, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, uh, Joseph Heller, and Philip Pullman. And lastly, I have the rest of my Everman's Library books over my desk. And here we have a Lao Tzu, the Old Testament, the Book of Common Prayer once again, William Blake, Poems and Prophecies, uh, Dante Alighieri, Divine Comedy, uh, Homer, uh, the Iliad and the Odyssey, the Mabinogion, uh, William Langland, Daniel Lotho, Goethe, uh, Victor Hugo, uh, Alexander Pushkin, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, Mikhail Lermantov, uh, Bram Stoker, Dracula, Nikolai Gogol, uh, Herman Melville, Henry David Thoreau, and lastly, uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky once again. And here's my little statue of uh, H.P. Lovecraft. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for my bookshelf, but let's head to the outro now. I really hope you enjoy this book tour. Uh, the next one will probably be out in December, around Christmas probably, or New Year's. But uh, remember, if you want to see any of these books uh, in depth that I've shown you today, if you see, want to see a specific video review uh, of any books, uh, please tell me in the comments and I will definitely add it on the list. I have maybe one or two books uh, right now on that list. Just write a comment and tell me, but otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope I will see you all next time. Goodbye.